Get out of there. As you can see, like a thousand people before me, I've snapped the little breather nipple off an E-Tech VST. Can't buy the top plate, can't do anything like that. 1100 bucks for the new high pressure fuel pump and such. So I'm gonna try and come up with a solution. So there we go. Just a normal air fitting from the local hardware. Quite narrow in diameter. Similar to the nipple broken off there. Atex, awesome. There we have it, inside there, that's your cooling coil. Cools the fuel before it heads into your injectors. And that's top of the cap. Pretty simple. Kids are playing cricket out the back, so get ready to listen to some fighting. But yeah, basically just all float. It's up and down, little needle in there. The fuel builds up to the top of this tank. Closes that float so the fuel won't run. I'm gonna let you vapor out. That's what I'm guessing anyway. Little thing to check if you are doing these things to make sure that your fuel is cooling down because it will burn pumps. Make sure these water inlets here have been cleaned. Oh, well, there's no obstruction really. You can blow through them. Doesn't taste real good, but yeah, you can do it. Send up here in my vice, little hacksaw. We'll take the end of that nipple off there. <laughs> nipple. Right, uh, that's now what I'm left with. That is going to go into that. Now, I did read on one of the threads on Barnacle Bills that he, um, that a bloke turned one of these little nipples up, heated it, and pressed it into here, basically in turn poly welded it, I guess, into there. But we'll see what happens. Paid four bucks for that little bad boy. Bit, bit easier than turning one. So I got my little gas torch here, got the nipple bit, and some flies dang on it really. I want to move everything away, especially this thing, while I heat her up. Dealing with fuel, yeah, you know the story. There we go, got that little nipple as hot as I could. Drilled the cap out in the end, drilled the top bit of the cap out to 2.5 mil, then heated her up and yeah, push it in there. It seems to have sealed all right. What I did have to do though, is run a one and a half mil down there in the drill, just to clear the plastic build up and blew it all out. So yeah, see what happens. Oh no, it was on there. Put the screws back in there and then we can reinstall it. A couple of videos floating around on how to take these things out, but yeah, yeah, lad, if you want me to make one. Um, actually, don't. I hope I don't have to remove them again. Pretty easy, but better things to do.